Statue Hunter 75 here at my local, one of my local comic shops. Just doing a quick little review of this statue. This is, I believe it's a custom from the One Studio. If any of you guys have heard of this, just leave a quick little comment. There's some, all the info I got on this. I don't know who Leo C is, but if any of you guys have heard of him, let me know. It's a pretty nice statue. The only thing I don't like about it is the skin tone. Could definitely be a little more realistic looking. Might not be showing up on the film, on the camera, but it actually looks like, almost like DC Direct's flesh tones as of late. The switch out head would be so much nicer. You're probably not seeing it, but it's kind of a pinkish hue. If it just had more of a realistic skin tone, it would be really cool. But the muscul musculature of the statue and the base, the whole presentation of it's pretty cool for a Superman statue. Definitely a nice digital sculpt. I'll put the switch out head on. Hold just one second. I'm gonna put you in some darkness. Switch out the head to the regular, regular head. It's got some nice magnets on it. And the cape goes in with pegs. Perfect. And we're back. Thanks for waiting. And there's the regular head. Which actually looks a little bit better than the angry head. But still, I don't know if you can see it, but the flesh tones are just a little off. But anyway, just wanted to do a really quick little review of this guy. I like how it has the S on the back of the cape. The flow of the cape looks pretty cool. Shading on it's Okay, the paint job's pretty good. There's some nice detail on the uh, on the costume. Oh, a little wobbly. I don't know if you can see those lines and the veins and everything. But there definitely is some nice detail on it. It's a digital sculpt. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Remember to like and subscribe.